What is the life cycle of a moss? Long, long years ago, a special group of plants with a sense of adventure began making the journey from water to land. What were these plants? Moss. There are thousands of known species of mosses. But the question is, what plant group does moss belong to? Bryophytes include the various mosses and live verts that are found commonly growing in moist shaded areas in the hills. Bryophytes are also called amphibians of the plant kingdom because these plants can live on soil but are dependent on water for sexual reproduction. The plant body of bryophytes is more differentiated than that of algae. It is thallus-like and prostrate or erect and attached to the substratum by unicellular or multicellular rhizoids. They lack true roots, stems or leaves. However, they may possess root-like, leaf-like or stem-like structures. Mosses are small flowerless plants that typically grow in dense green clumps or mats, often in damp or shady locations. Let's learn more about moss and its life cycle. The predominant stage of the life cycle of a moss is the gametophyte, which consists of two stages. Number 1. Protonema and Number 2. Leafy stage. The first stage is the protonema stage, which develops directly from a spore. It is a creeping, green, branched and frequently filamentous stage. The second stage is the leafy stage, which develops from the secondary protonema as a lateral bud. They consist of upright slander axis bearing spirally arranged leaves. They attach to the soil through multicellular and branched rhizoids. This stage bears the sex organs. The sex organs are multicellular. The male sex organ is called anthridium. They produce biflagellate and therozoids. The female sex organ called archegonium is flask shaped and produces a single egg. The antherozoids are released into the water where they come in contact with archegonium. The antherozoid fuses with the egg to produce the zygote. Zygotes do not undergo reduction division immediately. They produce a multicellular body called sporophyte. The sporophyte is not free living but is attached to the photosynthetic gametophyte and derives nourishment from it. Some cells of the sporophyte undergo reduction division or meiosis to produce haploid spores. These spores germinate to produce gametophyte. Let's solve some important questions from medical exams. Question 1. Gametophytic stage is dominant in Number 1. Bryophyta Number 2. Pteridophyta Number 3. Gymnosperm or Number 4. Angiosperm This question was asked in Punjab PMT 2010. Solution the main plant body of the bryophyte is haploid. It produces gametes, hence is called gametophyte. Hence, option 1 is correct. Question 2. In bryophytes, antherozoids are Number 1. Biflagellate Number 2. Uniflagellate Number 3. Sometimes biflagellates and sometimes uniflagellates. This question was asked in CPMT 2012. Solution. In Moses antheridium is male sex organ which produces biflagellate male gametes called antherozoid. Hence, option 1 is correct. This video concludes about the life cycle of a mass. Students must remember the two stages of the life cycle to answer question in the exam. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more interesting and educational videos, to earn while you learn, download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for studying.